Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting polynomial equation. So p of x is a polynomial and we have p of x times p of 1 over x equals p of x plus p of 1 over x. And we're also given that p of 3 is equal to 28. So we're going to try to find this polynomial that satisfies this equation with the given initial condition. All right, let's go ahead and manipulate this equation a little bit to make it factorable. So I want to subtract everything on the right-hand side from the left-hand side. And then set it equal to zero. Now, notice that the first two terms here uh, have a common factor. So if you take out p of x, you're going to get p of 1 over x minus 1 and then negative p of 1 over x. So in order to make this expression factorable we do need a 1 that is being subtracted from p of 1 over x but p of 1 over x has a negative sign in front of it so instead of subtracting we want to add 1 to both sides. So that's what we're going to do next. Let's go ahead and add 1 And that means 0 becomes 1. Now, we're going to take out a negative 1. And then we're going to have a common factor. Great. Now, this is factorable by grouping. So let's go ahead and take out the common factor, which is P of, P of 1 over x minus 1. Or we can just write it the other way around. P of x minus 1 multiply by p of 1 over x minus 1 equals 1. Great. So we do have a product, but this product isn't super helpful because we have those minus signs, minus 1s. So let's go ahead and get rid of them by calling this p of x minus 1 another polynomial. How about this? Let's name this q of x, where q of x is just like another polynomial, like p of x. So we get the following. If p of x uh, minus 1 is equal to q of x, or if q of x is equal to p of x minus 1, then it means q of 1 over x is p of 1 over x minus 1. We just replaced x with 1 over x. Anyways, so from here we get q of x multiplied by q of 1 over x equals 1. Now this is significant because you have a polynomial, now think about it, and then you are replacing x with 1 over x, so that has, that's basically going to reverse everything or flip everything and the powers you know uh, just gonna be flipped so think about it this way like suppose q of x is equal to something like x squared plus one then you're going to have something like one over x squared plus one now when you multiply these two things is there a way you can get one from here well if you distribute these two you're gonna get one but then you're gonna have extra terms like x squared plus one over x squared and obviously with more powers this is gonna happen even more but you don't want that. You just want a single one, which means that uh, your polynomial Q of X just needs to be uh, made up of one term. And that is going to be something like X to the power N. Of course, it could also be negative X to the power N. But uh, let's just say plus minus or we can write it as negative X to the power N as well. And, uh, you know, because when you replace X with 1 over X, uh, you're going to get negative 1 over x to the power n, and they're going to cancel out and give you 1 again. All right, great. So let's see if how this works out. We defined our q of x to be p of x minus 1. So now I can safely say that p of x minus 1 equals x to the power n. And from here, p of x equals x to the power n plus 1. Now, with this one, I can go ahead and use the given initial condition we were given that p of 3 is equal to 28. So we can go ahead and replace x with 3 on both sides, and that gives us 3 to the power n plus 1, and set it equal to 28. From here we get 3 to the power n equals 27, and n equals 3. Which means that our polynomial in this case, p of x, is going to be x cubed plus 1. But what about the negative one? If q of x is equal to negative x to the power n, you're going to get p of x minus 1, equals negative x to the n plus 1. Now when you replace or maybe just isolate x, uh, p of x first, uh, you're going to get 
p of x equals, well, I already did, I guess, so I could probably just um, erase this one. There you go. So now, uh, let's go ahead and replace x with 3 and set it equal to 28. So p of 3 in this case is going to be negative 3 to the power n plus 1. And when that equals 28, this means 3 to the power n is equal to negative 27. But unfortunately, with real numbers, this is impossible. Therefore, negative x to the power n is just not going to work. Therefore, we end up with a single solution, which is x cubed plus 1 for our polynomial. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.